All right. You ready? Because I got a story for you. A farmer whose improbable surname was Darling was frantic about a pesky fox who had been stealing not his chickens, of which he had too many anyway, not their eggs, which were also quite plentiful, and with which, with, with which the farmer could stand to have parted with a few, but his grapes, of which he had too little already for the wine he had planned to make that harvest season. And so, his patience exhausted, the farmer screwed up his courage and went out to chase the fox. The fox believed he was clever. He knew, first of all, that the farmer was likely to get lost. He also knew that every evening, under the tallest tree in the forest, a lion could be found lounging after his long day doing important lion things. Who has cats? You all know what I mean. So the fox, who thought himself clever, left a trail for the farmer, which was as well, since the farmer did in fact become lost. Indeed, as expected, the farmer fumbled around the forest until nearly nightfall before he found the fox's trail. At last, however, when the farmer followed the trail to the place where the lion lay, the fox threw a stone at the lion, striking him directly between the eyes. The lion awoke, angry, and saw not the fox, of course, but Farmer Darling. The farmer, who was, it must be admitted, not very bright, was bright enough to know not to show fear to a lion. And so when the lion growled, why did you throw that stone at me? The farmer, with no hesitation, said quite truthfully, "'Twas not I. "'Twas that pesky fox who keeps stealing my grapes." Now here, we see the fox was not nearly so clever as he believed he was, for he had been sharing his ill-gotten grapes with the lion for weeks. Lions, like all cats, are opportunists, with very little respect for property, as long as they are the ones doing the stealing. Being made an accomplice, however, entertained the lion not at all. Neither, of course, did the lion appreciate clever fox implicating the innocent. The fox, who had been hiding in the shadows, hoping to watch the farmer get devoured, began to slink away. Farmer Darling also saw this, but before he could cry out, the tail of the lion fell across his lips, shushing him. The farmer fell silent, and a moment, and a moment more, and the lion leapt. What befell the fox, I will not say, except to note that the goodman's grapes were safe thereafter, and the lion's slumbering was very sound. The moral? Hush, my darling, don't fear, my darling. The lion sleeps tonight. Yes. <laughs>